What's up creators? It's Matt with My Designs here. In this video, I'm going to show you how I create multi-product listings on Etsy using My Designs. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is go to mydesigns.io and log in. If you don't have an account, you can sign up for free. Once you log in, it should take you to the dashboard page where I'm at. What we need to do is navigate to the listings tab here, right under dashboard. Now, in order to create a collection, if you don't know how to, you can go up to listings here. Next to listings, you'll see this home button. You can click on the home folder and then just click add folder and name it there and then click add new folder. I've created one ahead of time here under YouTube and multi-product listing. So I'm gonna go ahead and just open this folder. Now, the next step is to upload the designs that we want to work with. And for this example, I'm going to be using six different designs that are based around camping. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just drag and drop these from a different um, folder. You can either do this or you can click the box here and then search your local uh, PC for it. Uh, it gives us a preview of our designs. I'm gonna go ahead and click upload all, everything looks good, and then upload design. Great, that took about 10 seconds to complete and now we'll go ahead and look through these. You can see these are the six designs that we're going to be working with and we're going to be creating a multi-product listing today that has um, t-shirts, sweatshirts, and hoodies available. Um, so we're gonna really just jump straight into it. Once you get your designs uploaded, uh, it's very important that you select them all. So we can click this button here or you can individually select them by going down like that. I'm just gonna click the button and select all six at the same time. Now, I'm gonna just go straight to publish here. There's a lot of things we can do, but for this video, I'm gonna show you how we use templates. And this is a, or a, rather a profile, which this one is a publishing profile, and I'll show you what that means. So now that all six are selected, I'm gonna to go to the top right corner and click publish. And then you'll see there's public profiles and my save profiles. I'm gonna click public profiles here. And then you'll see there's a multi-products light color. So this is for light colors. We have a light design, so we don't want that. We want this one here, which is multi-product dark colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this. And just so you know, the, the um, profile shows what you're offering here. We're offering a Bella 3001, which is a t-shirt, Gildan 18,000, which is a sweatshirt, and then a Gildan, Gildan 18,500 here, which is a hoodie. It shows the sizes we're offering them in here the colors we're offering, and then the price range that we have these set at. So I'm gonna just click Load Profile, and then this will take just a second, but it's gonna take us into our publishing um, publishing process. And you'll see there's already some mock-ups that are starting to um, populate. And these mock-ups are part of this profile. So any design that we ever want to sell on this profile, these will automatically be populated. And I'll also show you how you can change these if you wanna add some different ones. As you can see, it looks like we have a Bella 3001, a hoodie, a few hoodies, but there's no sweatshirt. So um, we wanna add a sweatshirt mock-up as well so that our customers can um, get a preview of all the products, not just a few of them. So you can see we're on Bella 3001 up here. We can switch over to our Gildan 18,000 here. And then under mock-ups, you'll see we're only offering a size chart, which is great. We have a size chart for all three products, but I'm gonna click this add mock-up button here. And now you'll see our entire mock-up library, and this only consists of our Gildan 18,000s here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select one of these, and it looks like we've got all females, and this is a, um, a unisex listing, so all these products can be um, used for men or women. So I'm gonna go ahead and just select a male model. And then the next step here is to just select a color that we would like this to be generated in. We don't have a royal yet, so I'll go ahead and select that. Now, you can also see if we go back to Bella 3001, we have three of the exact same mock-ups. So I'm gonna deselect the Navy and Military Green. I'm gonna just click Add Mock-up here. And then once again, I'm gonna add another male model. And maybe we'll select this fall one since these are camping related designs. And then I'm gonna select Navy. Um, and then we're gonna jump back over to the hoodie and it looks like we've got two hoodie colors generated as well. I think for the hoodie, we only need one. So I'm just gonna deselect navy and then go back to the sweatshirt. And I think we're gonna add one more mock-up here. Uh, this time we may do a female mock-up and then I'll select dark heather since we don't have that yet. 
And then I'm gonna go back to Bella 3001 and I'm gonna add just one more here as I think that the t-shirt will be our most popular product. Um, and I'm just gonna select one of these top um, models and then we'll select military green as I think that's the only color we don't have. So we'll go with those mock-ups. Now, in order to arrange these in how we want them to actually appear on our shop, the primary mock-up is going to be the one listed at the front here. And I think I would like that to be this t-shirt as it really shows off our design more. Um, and then we'll move all of the size charts to the very back. And then the order of these ones doesn't matter to me as much, but you can adjust these in really whatever order th that you would like. Um, the next step is to really make sure that our print file is set up in the right way. We can do that ahead of time, and I usually do, but if you don't, you can actually do it right here on this screen as well. We just have to make sure that we do it for all three of our products. So the Bell 3001 we have selected. All I'm going to do is select this Canvas system now. It's going to pull up our design file, and you'll see that's actually great, but we're working with multiple listings. So you'll see if I go through here, all of those ones look like they're perfectly optimized. This one, I may move a little bit more towards the top, and then all you have to do is click Save, and then all these mockups will adjust. So I'm going to jump over to the next one and go back to our Canvas system. It looks like this one is actually set up pretty well too, but we're just going to move this one up a little bit more again, and then click Save. And then the, we just go through the process one more time for the hoodie here. And it looks like this one is actually set up perfectly as well. We'll just move this one up once again a tiny bit more and click Save. So if you ever want a preview, you can see this is only showing us one of our designs, but we're working with six listings. So if I click this arrow here next to Listing Preview, you'll see that we can filter over and then this will you'll see that this is the other design. And then if I go again, there's another one. Some of these mockups take a little bit longer to render, but they are the exact same design as this one over here. And so that's how you can filter between them, but we are ready to go to the next step. If you wanna change sizes you're offering, that's right here. If you wanna add additional colors, you can do that right here as well. I'm gonna leave it set how we have it as I'm just showing you guys an example of how to do this. So I'm gonna to go to the next step, which is populate data. Now you'll see we have no title, description, or tags done. I usually do this ahead of time as well, but if you don't, we have a feature here called Vision AI. Uh, what Vision AI does is it's trained on best-selling data for Etsy, and it analyzes your print file and then create your data based off of that as well as the best-selling data it's been trained on. So I'm gonna go down here and select Use Vision AI. I'm gonna make sure that I select all of my listings that I'm working with. I'm just gonna select Toggle All. And then the input file slot here is the file we're feeding the system or the, the file that the system is going to analyze. So you'll see there's a preview there, Camping is my favorite therapy. And then the product type here, it's set to T-shirts. Um, and we actually can add we usually can add the ability to select multi-products here, not in the publishing process, but if we were to go back out to listings here, we could add additional products. Um, for this example, I'm not going to, I'm just gonna have it generate the product features for all three of these products. As you can see, they're already selected because this publishing profile knows that these are the products that we're selling. Um, what I'm gonna do is select custom instructions as well. I found that if I include some custom instructions, I get a little bit better data uh, from the AI. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say, this is a multi-product listing that includes a t-shirt, sweatshirt, and hoodie. Please include this info in the data. And I, I seem to get better results by just doing something small like that. So we're gonna go with that and then click Generate Data and yes, Run Vision AI. And just like that, our data is now done. You can see this says Camping is my favorite therapy tee, hoodie, sweatshirt, camping lover, gift ideas, outdoor adventure apparel, unisex outdoor shirt. So you can see it did get a lot of really good keywords in there. Um, I recommend or usually tell people rather that Vision AI will get you about 85 to 90% there. But I always recommend going through this data, double checking it, um, making sure everything's right. Um, the, the, the AI isn't perfect, it does make some mistakes sometimes. For this example, or since this is just showing you guys an example, I'm not gonna go through all this data as I'm not actually selling these. So I'm gonna just go to the next step and click choose prices. Now from here, you'll see we already have our pricing in, and that's because this is a profile. Once again, when you save these as profiles, which you can do here, 
If we wanted this to be a custom one, we could create it here and just name it whatever we want. Um, but we already have the pricing in. If you don't know how to change pricing, you can do it here. You'll see we have edit price selected. And then we have all sizes, all colors selected, and then replace. So whatever price we type in here, let's say it was 33, well, 33.98. And then I click apply to all. Every one of these will update to 33.98. You can see that it already has some at that price, but there's a few like these 3XL that has a higher price point, and that is because you get charged more for a bigger shirt. Um, but if you do want to change pricing, that's how you can do it there. You can also change your options here, your prefix and suffix, if you want to change what this says here, um, and your attributes as well. So I'm going to go to the next step, which is preview publish info. And this is just one last preview of what our listing looks like before we decide to publish it. So our title is here. Our description is here. And you can see that's quite long. And then our tags are in blue circled. Um, over on this right side, you'll see a store preview. There's uh, Etsy, which is our publication platform. The shop that we have connected, which is this one that we're publishing to. The category is set to clothing, which is perfect for this. And then all of these you can change as well if you'd like. But then down here, it shows us our product size and colors that we're offering. Um, and you can see that the other products are right here as well if we want to filter between them. So that's really all we have to do. The next step is to just click publish in the top right corner here. Um, and then once that's done, I will jump over to our Etsy shop and show you what these listings look like there. We are now over on our Etsy shop and we are on the dashboard. We need to navigate to our listings tabs here. Everything that is published through my designs will always go to your draft folder as you do have to pay that 20 cent listing fee. So make sure you check your draft folder here under listing status. And as you can see, here are our six designs, our six products. Uh, if we click into one of these products, you'll see that all of our mockups are here, our title, description, our tags, our pricing, etc. It's all here. So that is how easy it is to create multi-product listings by using my designs. Um, I used a profile, so it really took me only about 10 minutes, and I could work with more than six listings. That's just what I chose to show for an example. So I hope everything in this video makes made sense. If you guys have any questions, drop them below. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for future my designs content.